A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst Mod. So as you guys might have noticed, something is different about the base. I basically took all of the brick that we got from the Paxco and repaired and upgraded my whole base. And thanks to that, I want to show you guys this. Just by doing this little bit of base over here, Repair Tools 83, which means... Da, 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 nail gun. So now we have this level nail gun over here, which means I can break this one without having to worry. And this one, I just make sure to repair every now and then. Otherwise, we're going to lose this one too. Uh, I made some more cobble because we didn't really finish this base over here. I still want to tweak this over here as well. Because remember, this is not supposed to be connected to my base. It's supposed to be connected over here. So if zombies want to try and get to my base over here, they're not going to constantly break in on this side. Although as long as I have some traps and stuff over here, that should also do the trick. It's a shame there's no like motorized sledgehammer. You have the junk sledge, which you have to be close to to be able to kick, uh, kick and shoot zombies. But if you could actually tie that to a generator, that'd be awesome. But anytime a, a zombie gets close to you, it just gets knocked down regardless of where you are. I'm gonna grab all of this. Thank you. We could make the whole base concrete as well, but at the moment, since I have the nail gun, there's no need. Just get one more second. Boom. Okay, so this concrete, we're going to keep working on our horde base. Uh, the log spikes, these are the only ones remaining. It seems I was off my calculations. I had like four too many. And then also, I want to test this. I don't know how this is used. I'm guessing you put that on you. Uh, oh no, you can put it down. Basically, this is a clock. You can actually set the time ahead with this. So if you don't, look at that, press E to sleep. So if you don't want to face a night time... And you just uh, don't have anything else to do. You don't want to go out exploring. don't want to kill zombies. don't have ammo. Uh, you're just sitting at the base. You're bored. You can use this. Even on a, a server, this works. But just make sure to ask people on the server. Because regardless of uh, yes or no, this will set the time ahead. Which also on a server means the Horde Knight's going to be way closer than you think. Okay, so we have some pellets of iron smelting in over here. We have clay. We have carbon. I'm just constantly making more steel as well. And then over here, I want to make sure that every time before we leave this place... You make sure we have a brand new batch of ammo going. Because that was almost done, basically. 20 more minutes. So if I'm not close by when the 20 minutes are done, that would have actually just stopped and there wouldn't be any more ammo crafting. But now we have 47 minutes to keep going again. I also want to make sure we have enough ammo on us for our M60 and the sniper rifle. I want to try doing more quests with like Stu Zoo and stuff. There are some pure eyes that are just so massive. That you need a lot of ammo. That's also why I'm waiting until after Horde Night. If I go to some of these places now, I'm going to waste all my ammo. Although, if I just take my sniper rifle, it won't waste as much. But the M60 is just way faster and way easier clearing a place out. Okay, I'm going to do this. We're going to put that there. High caliber goes over here. Then I'm going to go show you guys what I have done to the base so far. And make sure I don't have anything else crafting over here that I forgot about. I think I have coffee over here. Yep, we can go mining still again. Okay, so everything is still doing stuff that I put them up to. My vehicle is aside. Oh, before we go, we have the cobble on us. Let's just quickly finish this part. I even went and did the outside corners and stuff as well. So literally the only thing that's still cobble is this place over here. I also realized uh, I previously said I need to upgrade my base or repair my base to cobble. But it was already cobble. I need to make it into brick like this. I think it will use brick out of containers if I still have some. Yep. I'm going to get these back corners done that we're not going to be able to see from the from our angle. Also, just guys, remember, if you use your nail gun to upgrade stuff, it does not contribute to your skill. So the, uh, this skill of here only goes up with a claw, hammer, and under. With the nail gun, the nail gun provides ease of access and just speed, speed and efficiency. But using the nail gun like this will not increase your repair tools, as far as I'm aware. Um, even the auger is the same. You have to use your handheld tool. The auger is a, like an ease of access kind of thing, but also apparently it sucks. I personally haven't tried it yet myself, but a lot of members on the server just say that once you have tungsten tools, there's no point in an auger. The amount of block damage and resources you get is just not enough. So I think usually basically like what we did last time, where we caved in the old staircase, that would have been a perfect time to use the auger. Because you didn't need the resources, you just needed to get the stuff out of the way. For now, I'm going to keep this over here because we do still have this and the forges over here. I have some cement smelting over here. So in an hour, six minutes, we'll have a ton of stone smelted in. I think that's about 3,000 cement per. 
So it does take an hour compared to a Paxco if I go over there with like a tungsten tool. But I can basically in one sitting at a, a Paxco get 3,000 cement. But as long as I have enough forges cooking down, we can have 3,000 per forge. So an hour is a long time to wait, but at the same time, it's worth it. I actually just want to do this so we can see from the top where this is. I want to close this off. I want to actually just dump this and get rid of this. Uh, but I want to close this part off over here and close this part off and make sure the ladder goes all the way to the top where we are. So this has to go and we have to place a ladder. Let's copy shape over here. I basically want to be able to reach the roof from that section. We have to do the same with the horde base as well. I don't think I have an actual way. Oh, no, no, we do. We have that part at the back. I'm thinking of my Darkest Falls base. Okay, so yeah, we don't have anything else crafting over here at the moment. Everything else is done. The moment this turns uh, turns close to night, I want to try and use the clock over here. Uh, we, we're sort of a late game, guys. I don't care whether I go out during the day or night. But to be able to face the hordes sooner... And, I mean, I'm ready. I can face them. To be able to face the hordes sooner, I actually want to try and test uh, putting the days ahead. I know a lot of you guys want to see me go out at night and be in fear of my life and stuff. But at the same time, I mean, there's no point. And also setting the days ahead will also have a time uh, effect on like how many more nemesis spawn. The later the in-game day, the more nemesis zombies we get. So that's good setting the days or the nights ahead. Okay, I want to expand this to this side. I want to put a door over here. So if a zombie does break through, we can just deal with it. Just do this. Boom, I love this pickaxe. For those of you guys wondering, I'm just doing 100% block damage. Not like 200, 300. Just on 100%, while well, it is a power attack, but boom, one shot. I want to remove all of this over here as well, put a proper roof on. This could be like a backup horde base as well, so I want to repair all of this over here. Just in case something happens, we'll be able to just fall back over here. But that base over there, I don't want to jinx it. That base is really, really good. So yeah, I don't think we are going to need this one over here, and I don't want to even think about using this one over here. Something really horrendous has to happen at that base for that to happen. Okay, let's quickly go to the horde base and just see how far I am. I should probably use the crappy nail gun so it breaks, so I can just focus on this one. Okay, so as you can see, we still have to place a ton of concrete blocks over here. I basically went all the way around and already placed all the spikes. We just have to keep upgrading these to steel. So now that we have more steel on us, let's just really do that. We only have for enough for like 20. It uses 10 per, right? Yeah. 10 steel per spike and it only upgrades to 7,000. So technically these spikes are not worth it when it comes to the fence. But what these are going to do is they're going to make sure the zombies don't aggro and smack the side of my base over here. Because as they're taking damage, they're going to want to get away. So this is perfect for us just to get the zombies uh, not to smack in our walls. They will try and run over this and that might also aggro them. But the moment they go in aggro mode, they're going to keep getting damage and then they're going to keep running up over here. We want them to take damage by just standing around the wall so they don't go for my walls. Okay, I should probably also consider making a second blacksmith forge. I'm going to keep the coffee on me even though it's busy spoiling. Because we might be able to use it. I wonder if there's a way to keep stuff from spoiling faster on you. Like if you have it on you, is there a skill that allows it not to spoil? I still want to make at least that steel. And then this top part where the zombies are going to be running steel. And now that we have the concrete, I need to do this as well. The only problem is because I didn't design this thing perfectly, is this edge over here. The zombies coming from downstairs shouldn't have to worry. Oh, apparently, if you can grab the loot and that before it touches the ground, the zombies don't spawn. So that's something to keep in mind. If you can catch it before it touches the floor, um, the, uh, you won't have to worry about killing zombies. Obviously, getting there before it touches the floor is also the thing. You have to have a proper vehicle. Okay, all of this is now steel. This is steel. I kind of want to test the thing out that TBF Gaming has been doing in his videos. He credits me for his base design, but there's something he did in his that I didn't even consider. He has two of these blocks or more on top of each other, and the zombies still path towards him. To get over, like, I just jump over here, but he has to go and shimmy underneath to be able to get underneath. And apparently, uh, well, it seems they still work, perf it works perfectly for them as well. So I, I'm kind of curious to try that too. I want to repeat this on this side, but we need way more concrete. And before we do that, I should probably first do this floor over here. I need to do this side as well because of the stairs, but this is more important since this is going to be housing the zombies. When they fall down, I don't want them exploding on dirt because all I have noticed, depending on the mod as well, sometimes cops don't do damage to dirt. I've noticed the demos do a ton of damage to dirt, but not the cops. 
It's absolutely terrifying how fast you can run out of resources in this game. Especially since you block... Because I'm so used to bigger stack sizes that every time a stack is done, I'm like, what? What? Already? Usually in a mod or in the game, it can go up to like 500, but this only goes up to like 50. So every time I run out of blocks, I'm so surprised. But I mean, it's only natural because it was only a limited amount on you. I'm actually now out of concrete, so I'll have to wait until the next is made. We do have some steel, but that's going to be a waste at the moment. Could possibly put it at the base over here. Although I'm going to keep steel blocks as a replacement. So if something breaks over here, you can just go and replace it. It's a shame you can't replace these over here with actual just blocks. But look at this. It lines up so nicely if you have a solid block. You could, like I said, do the same over here with the dirt by using a leveling hoe. But yeah, this is just so nicely tucked. Okay, we have quite a bit of clay over here. Um, I want to show you this. Boom. That is a lot of clay right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump all of the stuff off. I think we are going to do a little bit of adventuring and having fun. The thing is, we have to now wait for the resources to keep uh, crafting at the base. So until we have more resources, there's nothing for us to do around the horde base. Ooh, this is a nasty one. I don't like when that happens because now the zombies are going to spawn all over the place. Okay, so at least that's not radiated, so now we can put this away. I had to break a fence or two to get over here. And then, let's see, that's reloaded. All of a sudden, the zombies spawned in, that's weird. Okay, but yeah, um... We're able to do this, do this. Get ready! Get ready to rumble! Boom! Oh, I should also make myself level 9 or something, um, M60 before the horde. I wonder if the- no, the loot doesn't respawn. I was about to say, I wonder if the loot over here has respawned, but I play with loot respawn off. So it cannot have. Oh wow, they're wreaking havoc downstairs. Nice food. I was actually running low on proper, proper food. That's awesome. Hello, hello. I think some of them spawned inside, actually. I need to be careful of them swamping me right now. Or swarming me. Look at the lag all of a sudden. It shows how many zombies are... Oh... Did that just spawn? That's that's uh, technically also a nightmare, right? Night terror, not a nightmare. It's a night terror. I mean, that is a nightmare. Who likes snakes that big? <laughs> At least you, I think you can eat them, actually. No, that's a zombie snake. Good to know. Okay, I don't care about all the other zombies in here. We're just going to keep on doing our thing. Uh, I want to go for the super infested over here. And have some fun. I hope that I remember to put enough resources in. And then also technically... You know what? We're strong enough to do this. That definitely spawned in zombies, but that's fine. Did I just shoot the dude back there's leg off? It went straight through the crop and hit his leg. That is awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. Okay, so I need to grab some ammo. Remember, the goal for us of doing infestations is to be able to make sure that we get a ton of ammo. We can make a ton of 7.62 armor piercing, but that's not going to help at all if we don't have ammo to make that from. I think we're still good to go for a while because we still have a ton of resources at the base. But yeah, every time I see this, I have to go for these, just in case there's some ammo. Every little bit of ammo after a while keeps piling up and up and up, and after a while we'll be able to make stacks and stacks of resources. Oh, this place, yes! This, for those of you guys that know, that are new to um, Seminese Die, in Darkness Falls, there's a small bunker. That bunker was modeled after the old version of this one. This I've, I actually thought in Darkness Falls, this was raisin, uh, Raisins. Uh, I'm mixing all my am uh, anime and stuff up. <laughs> Razor's Quest sent me over, and I was like, oh, this is badass, this is awesome. This would have made sense if it was part of his storyline kind of thing. But nope, that was not the case. It just happened to be a coincidence. I have footsteps all over the place. You are not dead. You are tough. Oh yeah, I need to remember this is insane difficulty now. It's so easy to forget. This is super infested, but it's not radiated, so we can actually carry our stuff around. I mean, if it was radiated, I'd be dead by now. This is just a tier 3 hideaway. But it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Hello. What are you doing here? 
all of a sudden got really active over here. Come on. A lot of people... Oh, what's with the bosses and stuff all of a sudden over here? A lot of people will see this PR and think, oh, there's nothing left to it. Especially the old version of this. Come on, run to me. I need to make sure I kill him over here so I can loot the bag without leaving the area. Oh, now it's insane difficulty. It has to be headshots only. Especially with this dude where his head is so distorted. It makes it hard. Come on, show me your head. Oh, that vehicle's gonna explode. I swear, if I down, look, look how tougher, how much tougher these bosses are. I was able to kill this one at least super easy. But now, that's a different story. This is a Night Terror as well. It's a boss, but a Night Terror too. Please, I need steel blocks. That's the only reason I'm killing him. But yeah, the old version of this, guys, you, it actually was so uh, plain, so like, oh wow, there's nothing to this place. Oh wow. I didn't know there's something up here now. But they changed it, and it's way more like a facility underneath that. Right now, it's awesome. Oh, crap. Jumpy, jumpy on your heads. There's a problem with the sniper rifle. If you zoom in, it's too close to the faces. But in the past, it used to just be that one over there, over here. You can get down from here. Now, is that how you get in? Okay. I think you can also get in from that uh, well over there. That used to be the old way of getting in. PS3 is... Oh, hello. Come here. Come here, you beauty. We're getting way more bosses now. Although, I think it's because it's an infestation. Look at my game stage. Come on. Come on. Since this is a nemesis, he has a lot of reach as well. You got a little close for comfort. Can I not skin you? Wait, what? What was that? Oh, yes, yeah, steel blocks. That's what I'm looking for. See, by killing these bosses, I'm hoping that the Horde Knight actually has a ton as well. By killing these bosses, you can get quite a bit of steel blocks. Oh, I love the sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I love this POI as well. Unlocked. I thought this was the exit last time. Yeah, I might just have to stir up noise. And then run back to this door here. That middle room is the final room. And over here, there's more stuff to kill. No red dots are moving. That's awesome. I was about to say, where are you guys? I need to aim better as well. I think it's a, a lot of panic attacking too. Although there's nothing to panic about because these guys are easy. Oh, look at all of the springs over here. How fast would it be? Oh, I could. I think let's clear the place first, and then if I have time, I'll do that as well. I want to test the clock too, so I don't want to get back to the base too late. I think there's zombies underneath us as well that we have to be careful of. And there's a button in one of these rooms that opens up the rest of the place. Okay, stand back, do this. My goal is to use the sniper rifle, so to, to be able to do that, I need to stand in one corner and shoot. Okay, there's safe over here that we can open up. Uh, we do have time charges on us. This might be dumb, this might wake up the whole area, but that's fine. And then also, I want to open up these and grab all of those barricades. Wait, that didn't open this up. Oh, well, it's close enough, so we can just use the pickaxe now. That should have opened us up first try, though. Okay, to make some space, let's do that. There's nothing in this place extra, right? 
We might be able to wrench those and it might be like a secret room behind or something like that. Uh, put that away, put that there. The final room is going to be much worse than this. Okay, cafeteria down. Man, I love this sniper rifle. It makes life so much easier just being able to snipe the zombies. I'm getting practice in now as well because on my second... 100 chips. Uh, on my second server, I'm actually using a uh, sniper rifle now way more. And it's working out really well. Okay, buttons over here. I don't think we've been through this whole place yet though, so... Okay, let's go over here. Just close that off. They're all going to come for this room anyways. Oh, nice. That was a double shot. I just took two zombies out with one shot just now. I think they're underneath us. Yep, they're still underneath us. They're trying to get up. Oh, they have bubbles as well. Hello, copper. Come on. Oh, they're still soldiers from the lab room over there. Yeah, I knew that I didn't kill all of them yet. I love the amount of ammo this gun has on it. It's awesome. Okay, I want to actually see if there's anything hidden in this place as well, because this place is huge. Uh, put the right glasses on, scrap that. Come on, give me something awesome for this place. Even with the change of Alpha 21's uh, twist on this place, this still brings back memories. Oh wow, well, you really... <laughs> Even though, uh, though I wasn't really using my sniper or oh, my uh, M60, I basically just used a whole stack of 762 clearing this place out. I mean, obviously, I did do a few panic attacks and I missed a few times. But even with that, we did really well just now. And this time around, I knew where the button was. That one room with the button, uh, the first time I looted this place, I didn't know where the button was. I was so confused. Okay, so, uh, don't need that. Grab that. Oh, and then Fezzik Cash is way more stuff. Uh, we don't need that. Grab these. If there's anything we can scrap right now, or... Ah, we could sell this for a thousand something. That's worth something. Mm, drop the paper, drop that, drop that. You see, at the moment we don't have enough space for all the loot in this place. I could easily just come back and keep looting. Uh, but yeah, why? <laughs> there's so many places to loot, we'll definitely get more in the future. This button leads out, and this goes up the well. This is really awesome. I love this design. I want more dungeon crawls like this. I feel like that's what the game is for. The game is uh, about. Okay, let's really go back to the trader. I'm going to hand this in. By 10, I'm going to try that clock thingy and see how that works. Hello. I didn't even realize that dropped earlier. Okay, so we're going to drop the ammo for now because, I mean, we need that anyways. Make some space and then we'll be able to grab some rewards of here. I have to make sure we have the right glasses on. Technically, I should put a lot of points into the nerdy glasses. If I put more points into intellect, we don't have to run around with the nerdy glasses. Although, it does give you more XP. I want to level up as much as possible, as soon as possible. If we can make it to Jen's place, we can actually try and get some um, learning elixir from her. Like. She usually sells some of that. Okay, we have enough notes. I should see which we need and then just make them in my, ba in my base. Okay, do you have any more jobs? Ostrich Hotel, that's too big. Weasel's Brain when we've done that one before. Hotel Zambona. Boxing Gym. All of these are so far away. Previous tier. All of these are super far away except for this one. We'll go for the Ultra Infested. It's in the middle of town, so it's going to be way more dangerous. I'll do that in the morning as well. Okay, you don't have anything I need, right? Even vitamins and stuff at the moment, there's nothing we need from him. That's so sad. That's basically everything he has. Oh, uh, what we do have that you want is this. 
stuff that I know I'm not, I know I'm not going to use. I'm just going to scrap from now on or sell from now on. Okay, let's go back to the base and try that clock thing. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how that works. And then I want to see. The only problem I think is when you use the clock, it doesn't help your resources. If you had resources that you are cooking or something in the fire or the forge, it doesn't finish those resources. It's like it pauses them. Oh, hello. Have to be careful. The damage is higher. The game stage might not have gone up, but... Oh, is that a whisper next to me right now? Oh, look at all the zombies spawning in right now. This is insane. What? I mean, it is insane difficulty, but look at this. On the server, I actually like doing this next to my base. Running around, grabbing as many zombies as possible. And then just shooting all of them in one go. Although in that case, I just usually use a Molotov to burn them all. Is one of them talking? It sounds like one of them is actually talking to me. Yeah, night times are way more insane right now, so I'm gonna have to use this. I just don't like the idea of wasting ammo right now. And especially since I have to do headshots. It's so much easier missing. Body shots still do the uh, do a thing. It still hits them, it still does damage. But you have to pump so much more ammo into them if you're doing heady, uh, body shots compared to headshot. Okay. Enough fooling around, let's get back to the base quickly. Oh wow, I just destroyed the trader's walls. Okay, my mods box is actually starting to get really, really full right now. Soon I won't be able to put anything in there. Well, I can't put anything in there more, anymore anyways. But I either have to go and scrap the ones that can be scrapped, because some of them can actually, like these. Uh, which one was that just now? This. We can scrap these, but we also need to make some space. Look at that. The stuff that I've already scrapped is taking up a lot of space. Okay, so it's night time right now. You want to say, okay, let's sleep. Click this button. It's the next morning, 4 o'clock. Voila. Now I can actually say that I've at least tried the clock. <laughs> it's literally that easy. You just click on it. But like I said, be careful. Because that goes and it applies to everyone. So even if someone doesn't want to have the night set ahead, it is going to be set ahead for them as well. On the server, this thing should actually be banned. Unless, no, it should have an option. Do you want to sleep as well? Yes or no? If someone says no, then they, there's no sleeping. Whereas you can actually start fights. So I can just see fights starting because of that. Okay, so I need to put the rest of this away. We have some steel blocks. I might be able to put that around the base of the tower. And then these should be done as well now too. See, we need more bricks. Uh, I should probably make some, but it's so expensive. I need to make way more bricks now too. And just smelt more iron in there. One, two, three, grab these. It's always a pain having to swap these out, but it's so much more worth it. Because without this, look how long this is going to take. 33 minutes compared to 15 if you just stop this quickly. Take these out and then just swap these out. I'm guessing this is probably going to be patched later, not being able to put everything in in one go like this. It makes sense because this, is, this makes it a little bit easy. Now you don't need as many forges as you would have if you didn't use this trick. Okay, I need to put some fuel in there as well. That's about 15 minutes. See, that's why we need these. Only two is enough. Okay, we have concrete. We have some blocks that I need to upgrade. But we don't have enough bricks. I wonder if I shouldn't just quickly go to that other pack and grab some resources from over there. Before we do anything else, we probably need those resources. Then over here, we'll just drop that. Drop this. And then the foods I can put over here. And these boxes are getting so full at the moment. What's that doing in there? At least we have some fuel so I can actually fill up my vehicle. I do want to make some Molotovs, but I feel like gas is more important at the moment. Oh, speaking of, we should actually go and pay a visit to uh, Jen and see if she has what we're looking for. If we can actually get right with her and get some learning elixir, that'd be awesome. Okay, Wolframite mine. We don't need any more Wolframite. There's still a military chest for, to, uh, for us to grab. But I should probably go to this one first. And grab all the bricks from there and then go and upgrade my horde base. The walls are still cobble of my defense. So even though the walkway is also... Uh, you can't see right now. It's too foggy. But basically everything is concrete except where I'm standing. So that's going to be a major, major vulnerability. I really don't like this kind of weather in the game. Ooh. It's on its last legs over here. Look at this. Boom. 
See, now that I caught this, I can be constantly making ammo even when I'm out. You have to make sure you always, 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 always craft. Oh, what am I short on? Gunpowder. Okay, so... Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Instead of doing that then, let's take some ammo apart. That's the easiest way to get some gunpowder. 556. Five, normal 762s as well, yes. If it's normal, as a, if it's armor piercing, that's what we're making right now. So we have to make sure we don't accidentally take that apart. Do this. Make sure these stacks are full. And then we have to make sure we're reloaded over here as well. I also want to do this over here and make myself an M60. Because we don't have a level 901 M60 yet. This one, I should actually make two. If one breaks, we have a spare. But I really hope we don't accidentally break one. The thing is, we can easily make ourselves some more. I should probably... Wait, what mods does my vehicle have in? I think it already has the supercharger, right? And then these over here, they have the ergonomic grips. So I don't have to worry. Okay, so let's just see. Drum mag will make for both of them. Uh, barrel extender. It's going to be loud, but it's going to be awesome. So I'll make two of them. Although to save space, just do this. It's one slot. Boom. Tripler mod, yes, especially on an M60. And then the rad remover. Although I don't think we have that unlocked yet. Okay, so yeah, we need to make that schematic, but that's easy enough. Where's my writing desk? Rad remover, schematic, there you go, craft. So in four minutes, we'll be able to make rad removers. I have so much ink and paper over here, so I should probably see what I can and can't still craft. I think we have armor plating on all of our stuff. I need to finish all of these perk books as well. The sooner they're done, the better for us too. There's no other mods or books that I think I need at the moment. Oh, um, yeah, Ranger's Guide over here, that's going to allow us to uh, create uh, explosive rounds, or bundled rounds. I think number two is for explosives. Shotgun, since we're using the shotgun a lot. Sniper, volume seven, and one we still have to do. And number four. Especially since we're using the sniper rifle and the M60, we want all of the perks related to that. Which also means automatics, because of the M60. Did I pass them already? Oh, there you go. Automatics, uh, number one. And I have to make number three and seven as well. See, we need, we need to make sure some, but just be careful. Some of these don't have their full set. I think it's part of the mod to allow you to go and actually look for those. Like when it comes to mining. Uh, where's a great example? Where's mining now? Mining, did I pass it already? Part of mining. One, two, three, four, five, six, but no seven. So because there's no 7, you have to go out and explore and actually find it. Actually, I think that makes sense. Not to have everyone just be able to do anything from the start. Okay, we have to make some blocks at least. I do need to upgrade some blocks over there, but most of this is going to be turned into blocks. So we'll go and... Go concrete. I should probably stop this over here. Yeah, these together will be the same as those two there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make those mods over here then. Two... And the extended barrel, where are you? Wait, why can't I make... Oh, there you go. And then behind that, on both of them, we'll put the concrete blocks. So we can make 205. But because we want to use some of the concrete for ourselves, let's make about 180. So that's 90 over here. And 90 over here. There should be enough space for everything. Okay, I'm just going to put everything else away for now. And then next time, like I said, we have to go get some more brick at the Paxco. And the moment we have that, we'll be able to go and easily make ourselves everything we need for our horde base. So our horde base should be up and running by the horde, which is really, really awesome. Yeah, my coffee's about to spoil as well, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Oh, it's because of my... Wait. Oh, yeah, it's my two forges downstairs and this one. I was about to say. Well, only this. The stream is coming here. Damn. Okay, so if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback. Leave them below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.